all new Scape Pro? Always has been. Dad? Hello, agents. Boss, is it really you? You seem too, right? It's not just me this time? I'm not saying he was perfect, but his legacy is one of bravery, commitment, and sacrifice. The ideals that will win this war. So what's with... whatever that is? That alright with you? Doesn't matter to me. That's not my dad in there. He's where he's supposed to be. Come on, let's get back to the Fortilla. Oh, I could go for some grub. I'll bring you back something, okay, Sky? Be right back. Don't go anywhere. So it's true. You're alive. <laughs> what the hell? Rise. Home sweet home. Weird to finally say that. Hey, you went through a lot to get here, and it's your home as much as any of ours now. You ready for some delicious and nutritious fish sticks? Well, I'm not sure how nutritious they are, but you betcha. Hey, look, me Paul's back. Does he want to join us? Paul, Jules, up here. Oh, hey, son. Hiya, Kit. Come up and join Kyo and I for some dindins. Hmm, you can count on me. Dindins, huh? I guess I could go for a meal. Oh, isn't this nice? The gang's all back together. Yeah, so what are you having? Kibbles and fish bits, of course. Okay, I might just wait for the waiter to come around again. Well, while we wait, why don't you tell us what you've been up to? Oh, you know, lots of stuff. I told you guys about my dream, right? The dream where I was a series of robot animals? Yeah, I'd rather not relive that. Me neither! For, you know, obvious reasons. Ahem, like the Ig Bay Up Bay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's try to leave all that behind, yeah? After all, it was just a dream, and we've been through lots of real adventures together to reflect on. You're right. Why, it's been so long I can hardly remember them all. I think that might just be because you're getting older, Paul. Well, if you can remember them all so much, why don't you prove it, son? Tell us a story. Oh yeah, kid! I want to hear all about your adventures before you met me. <laughs> well, all right. I remember it like it was yesterday. Ah, life on the open road. Nothing beats this. Oh, looks like I'm running low on petrol. I'll have to take a quick stop at the station. Oh, that's the stuff. Oh, hey, Kit. I thought I heard you roll up. <coughs> Jules, uh, do you mind? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Yeah, you're refueling. What's the problem? Could you not look, girl? It's not proper to stare. You know that's not your real body, right? Very aware of that. Still, there's a tube up my real body's bum right now, so... Okay, now it got weird. I'm definitely not looking. Good, that's... Ah... Uh, better. You know what? 
that's enough to get me by for now. You sure? Oh yeah, totally. I, oh no, I filled it with diesel jewels. Didn't I tell you to read the signs? Well, forgive me. It's all written in human language. I'm still adapting. Not to worry. Your suit's equipped to handle all kinds of fuel. Oh, really? Then why do I even have to worry about what the sign says? Because diesel is a lot more expensive. Oh, I see. Oh, I might be a bit late on rent this month. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Now, I'm sure you're here to test out your upgrades, right? Oh, did the pots come in? You bet. My connections came through. Let's get them attached, shall we? Oh, I'm so excited. I could just purr. Oh, I did it. All right, you're all set. Try hitting that punching bag. All right, here goes nothing. What the devil? You have to switch into combat mode, Kit. Oh, right. Take this. Oh, yeah. Wow. Did you see that? I'm proper tough. Yeah, I might have overdid it a bit. No way. With strike like this, I could probably take on me dad. I wouldn't go that far. Dad. Hey, boy. Having fun? Mm-hmm. Jules made my suit even tougher. Now I can fight bad guys like you. <laughs> well, hmm. let's not talk about that stuff right now, kid. Hey, Jules, what do I owe you for the parts and the scratching post? Please, I build that stuff for fun. Besides, your money's no good here. At least come with Kit and I to lunch. My treat. Sorry, but I, I've got work to do today at the authority. Oh. Right. Is something going on here that I should know about? Nah, buddy. Just grown-up doc. Well, that's a relief. But I did hear mention of food, correct? Because I'm starving. <laughs> yeah. Come on, boy. Let's leave Jules to her work. Bye. Thanks again. See you guys. She's such a nice lady. was so good. You betcha. Tuna in a can? What else could a couple of cool cats like us ask for? But careful. Tuna's fatty. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to grow up big and strong like me, we gotta exercise. Is that why we've been walking around Pleasant Park for an hour? <laughs> you caught me. Uh, Dad, why do you keep looking at that house? I, uh, a friend of mine used to live here. Was she my mom? What? No, gross. Uh. I mean, no, son. She was just a friend. Uh, okay. Who is my mom anyway? <sighs> I guess it's only natural that you'd want to know. All right, Kit, buckle up. And I'll tell you how I met your mother. She sounds like a nice lady. What happened to her? Well, after the flood hit, the island changed so much. And the people did too. We realized that we weren't right for each other. Truthfully, I wasn't the best husband I could be. My mind was constantly elsewhere. She deserved better. I don't know, Dad. I think you're pretty great. Thanks, boy. But anyways, we decided to split up. And soon after, she had packed up her things and was gone. Even though it was for the best, I was still sad. But then, something amazing happened. What the? What's all that noise? Huh, is that... Mushu? 
Mushu the Love Dragon? What's he doing here? I'm here to deliver a baby to the lovely couple. Oh, Mushu. I don't know how to tell you this, but me and Cap broke up. Oh, really? That's a bummer. Hold on. So, you are single again? Yeah, guess so. Hmm, that's too bad. This kitten could really use a loving home. Ah, hey little guy. <coughs> he has my eyes, and mouth, and face. Yes, that's why I thought this would be perfect. Mushu, it's not just perfect. It's perfect. You mean you'd raise the child alone? You betcha. I was a dad once before, actually, so I got this. What happened then? Not important. Mushu, I accept. Well, all right then. Goodbye, Kelsos. And good luck. Hey, little guy. I'm your kitty dad now, and I promise you I'm going to be the best kitty dad I can be. A little while after, it was clear that in order for you to make your way in the world, you needed longer legs, maybe even a wheel, and to top it all off, a voice. And what a voice you decided on, am I right? Yeah, the accent was a little surprising. But Jules programmed it in, and I warmed up to it quick enough. How did you make Jules anyway? That's a story for another time, son. Okay, Dad. Thanks for telling me all this. It's nice to know where I come from. You got it, kitty son. But I've got to ask. Who was your friend that lived here? They seem really important to you. They are. Or were. Maybe they're home. Let's find out. Kit, that was a long time ago. I don't think- Ding dong. Kit, come on. No one's here. If that's the case, they won't mind us taking a little looky-loo. Kit, wait. I- Wow. Takes you back, does it? Yeah. Come on, let's check out upstairs. Okay. Wow, look at this place. Whoever lived here must have been awesome. Yeah, she was. Ken Sky, legendary adventurer. Hey, kitty bro. I'm leaving, Meow Souls. Ugh. Dad! Dad! Look at this! Hmm? What are these? They're called video games, son. Games? Ooh! Can you teach me to play? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. But I should warn you. I'm kind of an expert. Woohoo! Ha 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 ha! Woohoo! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! What do you think about your old man's workplace, Kit? It's great. Thanks for letting me tag along, Paul. I always wanted to see the... Hmm. Is it pronounced Fortilla or Fortia? You know, son, I'm not exactly sure myself. Well, whatever it's called, I'm just happy to be here. It means I get to meet all your work friends. But Dad, will they be my friends too? Of course. Trust me. They're gonna love you. All you gotta do is give them some of this. Oh, all right. How about this? Now we're talking. <laughs> what are you guys up to? <laughs> oh, hey, Ocean. This is my son, Kit. 
I'm showing him some moves to impress people with. Oh, so that's why you're making those embarrassing poses. Got it. Embarrassing? Dad, I thought you were helping me be cool. I am. Don't worry, son. Some people just can't appreciate style. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Anyways, it's nice to meet you, Kit. Are you going to help us out around here? I sure hope so. I want to be just like me, Paul. Aw, that's cute, but not too much like him, okay? After all, you don't want to eat out of the trash. Dad! Ooh! That was one time. There was still some tuna left on the side of the can, and bah, it's not important. Can we help you with something, Ocean? I was just wondering if you're down to spar again, but I understand if you don't want to get whooped in front of your own son. Just to be clear, that's laughable, but we're going to have to turn you down. We have plans. We do? Yes, son, we do. Mm-hmm, likely story. All right, well, have fun with your plans. I'll have to kick your butt next time. <laughs> that'll be a first. So what are all these plans, Dad? Well, son, I wanted it to be a surprise, but I signed us up for the big father-son boat race. Ooh, really? That sounds like a blast. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Now hop on. Let's get going. Woohoo! Here we are. Oh boy! Hey! Is that Jules? Well, would you look at that? I think it is. Hiya, Jules! Oh, hey, Kit. Ansels. I didn't expect to run into you guys here. You signed up for the big boat race? You bet we did. We're gonna cream the competition. Well, it's a good thing you guys showed up, because only one other team entered. Would have been a pretty boring race otherwise. What are you working on there? It's actually your competition's boat. They're having me do some fine-tuning to make it go faster. I told them that the boat's speed is what it is, but they weren't hearing it. Besides, easy money for me. Who's all competition anyway? Here he comes now. Hey, sir. Hiya, mechanic lady. You almost done with my race boat? Your boat, you mean? Not yet. You've got a... a... a leaky spark tube that I still need to look at. <laughs> yep, I knew there was something wrong with that spark tube. Okay, I'll get out of your hair and... Uh, Wait, are you guys Kit and Meowsels? That's us. So you're the competition, huh? I didn't know cats could drive boats or wear pants. Speaking of pants, I didn't know humans made them that tight. Very cool. Oh, thanks for noticing. Yeah, I feel they really show off my glutes and... Hey, you're just razzing me, aren't you? Well, that hurts. As soon as my race boat is fixed, me and my son are going to teach you a thing or two. Again, it's not a race boat. Well, I'm going to use it in a race. So it's a race boat. He's got me there, Jules. I'll see you two on the starting line. Prepare to get soaked. You know, because cats don't like water or whatever. Make fun of my pants. I'll show them with tight pants. How does he walk around in those? I still don't understand why you guys even wear clothes. Well, uh, lots of reasons, Kit. Anyways, you two should probably get prepared. The race is starting soon, I've got a spark tube to fix. Wait, is that a real thing? Nope, and I'm paid by the hour, so I'm gonna milk that jerk for all he's worth. Wait, you can milk humans? Seriously? He's barely one, Jules. Give him a break. Hello, and thank you for joining us live for the big annual father-son boat race. That's right. You might think we'd hold such a thing on Father's Day, but nope, we don't play by the rules here. Ha <laughs> ha, no, we certainly do not. But actually, there is an extensive rule book that all contestants must read prior to signing up. Yeah, so give us a rundown on these fools. Who are these guys? 
Well, Jack, we've got Scuba Steve and his son, Franklin. It should be noted that on the form, the name Little Francisco is crossed out. That should not be noted. Please, no interruptions. Their competition is the feline duo, Meow Souls, and his baby kitten, Kit. Kit the kitten? Ha <laughs> ha, real clever. Well, you're certainly one to talk, Jack Gordon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why'd you say my name like that, man? I'm emphasizing the pun to point out the irony more clearly. Okay, okay, I get it. Now quiet. It's time for the traditional pre-game smack talk. You, down there, start smack talking. Uh, well, okay, uh, you two are gonna be licking your wounds tonight after we beat you so bad, that is. Not actually beat you, but like win, win the race. Dad, they're cats. They're gonna be licking themselves anyway. Well, I didn't have anything prepared for this, okay? Dad, do we have to smack talk him? I feel like he just kinda owned himself with that one. <laughs> Good point, son. They're not worth it. Rude! That's some weak game from all sides. But enough of that. It's time for the big race. So, without further ado. On your mark, get set. Go! Woo! Go, kids! Jules is cheering for us, Dad! Woohoo! Keep your eyes on the prize, son. Faster, little Francisco! Faster! If you call me that one more time, I'm gonna pull this boat over. <sighs> Sorry, Franklin. Uh huh, that's better. I won't go get ya! Must go faster. Hold on to your butts. They're too far ahead. Not for long, they are. We're gaining on them. Boo! Come on, guys, you got this. Woohoo! Come on, we're almost here. Get out of here. Sorry, fishes. No! I'm going. Eat, sir. <laughs> no! Oh well, let's go home, Chad. Maybe Sensor I can make us some feel better cookies. I don't live with you anymore, Dad. Woohoo! We did it, son! I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Paul! Unbelievable! The cats have done it! Proving once again that they are indeed the superior species. You bet you love. Alright, peace out, everybody. Catch you on a flippity flip. Great job, guys! That was amazing! <laughs> it was all thanks to Kit's driving. You did good, boy! Oh, that's right. They told me to give you this. Ooh! Look how shiny and gold it is! You earned it, buddy. Hey! <laughs> Stop your embarrassing me, Mom! I mean, Jules, sorry! Uh, it's alright. <laughs> Anyways, yay, we won! Oh, what a day. Thanks for making it so much fun, guys. Of course, son. I'm just glad you had a good time. All right, it's getting pretty late, kid. We should turn in. You staying the night too, Mousles? Afraid not. It's back to work for me. Oh, uh, all right. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mewtwo. Get some rest, will ya? I will. A mountain made of tuna fish. It's all mine. Mm. Wiki, wiki, kitty. Huh? What? Jules, is that you? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is anyone there? I think you've made a huge mistake! I'm trapped in this big cage! Help! Bonjour! My name is Lou. Oh, how are you today, my little friend? Oh, thank goodness! I was worried no one would come! I've got to be honest. As you can see, I've been better. Hello, Kitty. Ah! It's a monster! Keep it away from me! Oh, does Devon frighten you, little one? Oh, he may look scary, but I assure you, he wouldn't hurt a fly. What about a cat? 
Mm-mm. Oh, he feels bad about earlier. Don't you, Devon? Devon, sorry for scaring Kitty Cat. Devon, make bad first impression. Oh, well, that's all right then. People make mistakes. Oh, speaking of, I feel like I'm locked up in here by accident. This is no accident, but believe me, it is for your own safety. It is? Yes, the world is a very dangerous place out there, and your father has decided that you need to be protected from it. Hence, the bows. Dad said that? Oh man, well, I guess I'm not as ready to take on the bad guys as I thought. Oh hey, come now, there's no need to be upset. You just need some time to mature. Mm -hmm. In the interim, you can live here at the Authority. We will take good care of you. The Authority? This is where Jules works, right? Why, yes. You know Jules? Jules knows you? Well, yeah. We're best friends. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> well, then, you'll fit right in with the rest of us. Oh, we'll be a real team. What do you say? That sounds great. Oh, magnifique. Kit's got to be here somewhere, Ohm. The hard part will be getting him out without drawing suspicion. Howdy, Jules. Welcome back. How are you? Not now, Tech. Busy. Gotta check the cells first. More, more, more. more. Kit, he's here. <laughs> Wait, is he laughing? What's, um... What's going on? Oh, Jules, you made it! Rue was just showing me her ribbon dance. Did you see it? Yeah, I sure did, buddy. Quiet, Ohm. Jules! Oh, what a pleasant surprise to see you here again! I was just talking about you with Kit. Oh, you never told me you had such an adorable best friend! Must have slipped my mind. Hey, Kit, are you doing alright in there? I sure am! Rue explained everything! I'm gonna sit tight to make sure I stay safe! Oh, okay. Sounds good. Rue. Can I talk to you for a moment? Of course. Kit, the grown-ups have to talk, but we'll be right back. Okay, I can wait. Rue, before I start, I just... <laughs> Say no more. I understand perfectly. Understand what? That you were running reconnaissance on ego operatives in your spare time. Very admirable. Oh, right. Yes. Well, because if that were not the case, it would almost seem like you were conspiring with our enemies. Well, and that would be just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, good times. What are you, are we, planning to do with Kit, by the way? Oh, he's such a cutie pie. We will keep true to our world. We shall keep him here, look after him, and by the time he is grown up, well, he will be one of our biggest fans. I see. But to that end, I still have seeds to plant. So, I must bid you adieu. Au revoir! See ya. Sorry about that. Now, where were we? Oh! <laughs> faster! Faster! Hmm. Hey, Tech, do you... No, Mama, I don't want to be a dental hygienist. Jeez, the security here is so lacking. Maybe I should just try for a straightforward prison break after all. No, stick to the plan. Hold right there. Oh, hey, Devin. What are you up to? Devin, guard door. Devin, let no one in. Wow, that's a very important job, Devin. Thank you. Devon, proud to serve. You know, you're doing such a good job that you really deserve a break. 
a break? Well, Devon is pretty tired. Oh, I bet you are. You should go take a quick nap. Maybe rest that big old eye of yours. I'll handle things here. Jules, good friend. Jules make Devon happy. Hey, don't mention it. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Like taking candy from a baby, but easier. Dental hygienist? Me? Well, I don't have opposable thumbs. <sighs> Why does everyone dream about that? Whatever. Hey, psst, Kit, wake up. Huh? What? Oh, Jules, I, uh... Shh, indoor voices, okay? Otherwise, they'll hear you. Who will hear me? Kit, the people here do not have your best interests in mind. What do you mean? They've all been so nice. And you work with them, right? Yeah, I do. Technically. But look, I'm really sorry for misleading you. I messed up. Big time. I should have told you sooner. But the authority is not a place for a kid. Well, if you say so. Wait, why should I believe you now and not you from the other day? Kit, just trust me, okay? I've been trying to reach your father, but he hasn't returned my calls. I'm not sure, but I think he might have been captured too. No, not Paul! Like I said, I don't know for sure, but we'll worry about that later. For now, my priority is getting you out of that cell. All right, Jules, what's the first step then? Okay, Kit, all you gotta do is listen to me very carefully and do exactly what I say. This system is a mess, eh, Tech? Yeah, almost like someone tampered with it. Huh. What makes you think that? Mostly the scratch marks. The owl scratch marks. What are you implying? Look, Jules, I know it was you. You and Ohm. And I want you to know, I'm not going to rat you out. You do? And you're not? Heck no. When I saw they had Meowsel's cute little kid locked up like that, well, it's enough to make a grown man cry. And did you cry, Tech? That... that's not the point. My point is that when I saw Ohm messing with the wiring, I looked the other way. Your secret's safe with me. Well, thank you, Tech. It's good to know there's someone else around here with a heart. Yeah. Speaking of, Jules, would you ever consider maybe... Possibly going on a date? Hey, Tech, do you mind finishing up here? I should really check up on Kit to make sure he got out of here safely. Oh, yeah. Sure, of course, Jules. You can count on me. Thanks. I will. <sighs> oh, let's go. Nice work, buddy. Next time, though, try to be more discreet, okay? Kit? Kit, you here? Who goes there? Whoa, whoa, Kit, it's me. Jules, you made it out. We both did. Oh, yeah. But Kit, we're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, we are, Jules. We're in the catty corner, not the woods. No, I mean, you're still in danger. I am? Yeah, Devin found you here once before. The authority knows this is where you live. So I have to move? I'm afraid so. But don't worry, I've got a really cool place in mind. The Fertilla. Oh, that's where Dad works, okay. Oh, but hey, before we go, any word from my dad? Not yet, Kit. But here in the Fortilla are the two most likely places he'll turn up. All right, then. Let's go. Here we are, Kit. Your new home. How do you like it? 
I'm going to miss Catty Corner a bit. But it's always good to try something new, eh? That's a spirit. Oh, hey, Kit. Good to see you again. Ocean! Hey! Meet me friend, Jules! Hey, we spoke on the phone? Right. Don't worry. I'll look after the little guy while we wait for his dad to come back. Sound good, Kit? Jules, you're not staying? Someone's got to wait for Meowth's back at the corner. Sorry, Kit. I hope you understand. I understand. Hey, turn that frown upside down. Say, how would you like to run my obstacle course with me? An obstacle course? That sounds fun! Well then, come on. I built it myself. It'll take us all across the Fortilla. Okay. Woohoo! Bye, Jules! Bye, Kit. And that's pretty much all of it. Wow, <laughs> I sure enjoyed that. We've come a long way, huh? Yeah, for instance, just the other day, instead of me being catnapped, you were. That's true, I guess. How about we change the topic? Oh, look, it's Rooks. Rooks, over here. Kyo? Oh, hey, guys. What are you all doing up here? We're having a little powwow. Care to join us? Well, I should get back to Sky with some food. I said it'd only be gone for a minute. Oh, come on, Rox. She can't even eat in her state. Neither can I, of course, but that's besides the point. I guess she can wait a little longer. What are you guys talking about? We were telling stories. We were just up to when Kit and Kyo met. Ooh, I love this story. Let me tell it. <laughs> All right, Rox. Regale us with your beautiful voice. Aw, thanks, girl. Okay, so Kyo and I were swimming around the Fortilla. Come on, Kit. Feel the burn. I'm feeling something. Is it the burn? I think it's mostly vertigo, actually, on account of my robot body bouncing me rear up and down like this. Oh, okay. Power through it. It's the only way to get big and strong like your dad. Got it? Okay. <laughs> you having fun? Whoa. Kid? You all right? Why'd you stop? Who, who is that? They're the most beautiful thing I've ever laid eyes on. Who, rocks? Look at those wonderful pointy pink ears. Oh, you must mean Kyo. That makes more sense. Kyo. Uh, that's enough for today, I think. Let's dry off. Oh shoot! They're coming this way, Ocean! Do I look alright? Yeah, you look fine, Kit. Hiya, guys! Hey, Rox, have you met Kit yet? He's new to the Fortilla. Um, can't say I have. Oh, wait, Kit? <gasps> oh, aren't you Meowsel, son? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah, you sure is. Oh, well, nice to meet you. I'm sure Kyo will be happy to have another cat around here. Isn't that right? Yeah, uh, cat. Uh. Hey, we'll see you guys later, okay? Sounds good. Talk to you later. Oh, and nice meeting you, Kit. N -n nice to me. Oh. What was that all about? Oh, jeez, I don't know. I felt something like a pain in me chest. But it was sort of a good pain. Oh, I know what this is. Someone's got their first crush. What? No, it couldn't be. Could it? I'm just a kid. Actually, cat years work differently, and you guys reach maturity a lot faster, too. It's perfectly normal for you to have feelings at your age. Huh? How do you know so much about cats, Ocean? I subscribe to cat facts on my phone, mostly to annoy your dad. <laughs> huh. Well, what do I do about these feelings? Should I kiss Kyo or something? Whoa, Casanova, calm down now. Baby steps. You gotta learn to talk to Kyo before you make a move like that. Oh, jeez. What do I say? Just be honest and be yourself. Right. I think I can do that. Go get him, tiger. Oh my god! Yo, this girl totally jacked my style! Hey guys, it's me, Loser Fruit. That's right, I'm in the game! How are we all doing? Uh-uh, this is not okay! I mean, strawberry-themed clothes? That's my thing! 
You're right. I've got one thing she'll never have. My very own dance. Guys, today I'm gonna do something extra special. I'm gonna show off my exclusive dance. Here it is. I'm nervous. What? That's it! Oh, uh, hello. Is it a, a bad time? Oh, huh? Oh, uh, no, Kit. Uh, we're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Uh, I, I'm, I'm good. I was just wondering. Uh, uh, this is for you. So, sorry to bother you. What is this? A gift? Oh, someone's got a secret admirer. <gasps> well, not so secret, actually, but... An upgraded voice box? Yeah, I think we can manage that. So, how'd it go? Well, pretty good. Pretty good. I, I say hello. Okay, good start. And then I, well, I gave them a rusty can. What does, what does that mean? I put the rusty can I brought for them on the floor and then I ran away. Oh, well, that's, that's something at least. I mean, yeah, you're showing your interest. Whew, I was worried I might have blew it. It was just so hard to talk to them, you know? Hey, I understand. I bet Kyo's feeling the same way right now. You really think so? And there. Are you sure this is the voice you want to go with? Yes, I think it suits me just fine. Oh, it's lovely. Don't get me wrong. I just... I always thought you were a boy, Kyo. I'm a robot. I don't have a gender. Yeah, that's very true. And hey, if you like it, I like it. Thank you, Rox. If it makes it easier, you can refer to me as a girl. But anyways, what do you think of Kit? Kit? Well, he seems like a fine young man to me. <laughs> the question is, what do you think of him? I think I... I think I like him. Come on, Kit. I'm going to help you talk to Kyo. I'll feed you lines and all you'll have to do is say them out loud. You do that? Oh, thanks, Ocean. That's brilliant. What can I say? I always wanted to play matchmaker. Let's do this. Good luck, Kit. I'll be right here. Um, knock, knock. Huh? Oh, hey, Kit. Can I talk to Kyo, please? Sure. Let me get her. Hi, Kit. Kyo, you have a lovely voice. Oh, thank you. You're in, buddy. Ask her if she'd like you to take her out on a date. Kyo, would you like me to take you out? Huh? On a date. Do you guys hear something? Uh-oh. On a date. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, could I take you out on a date? Well, that sounds just perfect to me. <laughs> this is so exciting. Great. I'll pick you up tonight. I'll see you then, Kit. I've got a date! Thanks for the right kit! Don't mention it! So, here we are! Wow, this place is really loud! Yeah, I hear it's a proper date spot though! So it must be fun! Makes sense! We should copy those guys, huh? Yeah! May I have this dance? Sure! I can't see your feet, but I'm going to assume you're a lovely dancer! Thanks! Hey, Kit? Yeah, Kyo? Sorry, but I don't think I want to stay here! It's too loud! Thank God! I hate this place! Yeah, way. I know another spot. It's much quieter. 
Isn't it? I can hear everything so much better, including your voice. I really like listening to it. Ah, uh, I'm still getting used to it, but thank you. No problem. Hey, kid. Yeah, Kyo? What's your facial expression right now? Um, happy. Oh, good. Mine too. Awesome. So this was a good date then? Totally. Ah, what a day! That fresh ocean breeze feels good on me row body. Hey, kid! Hello, Maya! Lovely day we're having, eh? Hey, Rem! Look who it is! Oh, so cute! Hi, kids! Ah, uh, hello, ladies! Nice seeing you! Oh. oh! Man, people shut off friendly around here! Maybe a little too friendly! Hey! Hey, kid! It's there! Oh, hiya, you cute little muffin! Um, hello? Oh, watch out for the... Oh. <gasps> Oof, that's gotta hurt! I wonder why everyone's acting so weird today. I thought they were just being nice, but something's definitely afoot. Psst. Hey, kid! Uh, hello, who's there? Me! You wanna buy some death sticks? W what? I'm just joshing ya! Haven't you seen Star Wars? Fun fact, the character who said that line's name is Elon Sleesbagano. Real creative, George. What are you talking about? Also, who are you, mister? The name's Deadpool, Kit, and I've been watching you. You have? Why? Because I know a troubled soul when I see one. You, my friend, are having your first Gets a Fan Club episode. My what? Episode? Mm-hmm. It happens to only the most popular characters, such as you, your dad, and yours truly. Dad had one too? What does it mean exactly? Well, it could mean a whole lot of things. Girls could suddenly throw themselves at you, or something even zanier could happen. It's very up in the air. I think in John Wick's he got kidnapped. Oh no, I don't want to be kidnapped. Not again. Don't you mean kidnapped? Oh, <laughs> I crack myself up. But anyway, in order to save you from whatever terrible fate the writers have in store for you, you can come with me. At least until the episode is over. How long will that be? At least 10 minutes. Maybe a little more, but never less. Well, okay. The girls here have been acting pretty weird, so I guess I can go with you. Excellent, then come with me. Did I mention that I love your voice, by the way? I'm sure he'll turn up. We just gotta keep looking. <sighs> oh, maybe 8-Ball seen him. Hey, 8-Ball? Oh, hello, Rox. You out late tonight. What's up? Kyo and I are looking for Kit. Uh, have you seen him? Kit? Oh, Miyasu's son, right? Yes, I believe I saw him earlier. That cat is quite popular with the ladies. <clears throat> I mean, yes, I saw him walking around. Any idea where he might have went? You know, I thought I saw him talking to a man dressed in red. He almost looked like a hybrid, but he had... Well... What, 8-Ball? Tighter pants. Deadpool, it's gotta be. Deadpool? Is that bad? Eh, it might be. It kinda depends on his mood. So you think Kit might be in trouble? All I know for sure is that when Deadpool's involved, things get messy. Come on, Kyo, we've gotta find him. Hold on. Miaoso's work to free me from Midas's grasp. If his son is in danger, then I would like to help as well. Thanks, 8-Ball. Let's do this. We've got a cat to find.
Welcome, Kit, to the new and improved SS Deadpool. Wow, this is all yours? You betcha. When Midas croaked, there was no one left to keep me from taking it over again. And with some encouragement from a certain Silver Knight, I figured it was time I treated myself. Well, it's very impressive. Aw, oh, thanks, little guy. I'm glad you like it, because it's going to be your new home for a while. What do you mean by that? Come on, DP. Get through this. Ugh, stupid conscience. Just give me one second. Uh, okay. Okay, moral compass. Let's get this over with. Hey, this is just like that one thumbnail from season eight. Deadpool, you cannot go through with this plan. Kit is but a child. Sure you can, buddy. Think about all that sweet, sweet cash you can make. Hmm, both fairly convincing arguments. Do not listen to the she-devil. You must understand that she was the anti-hero. This is purely villain behavior. There's no going back from that. Please, you already kidnapped one lady? You know, the statue chick? What makes you think this is so much worse? Uh, lots of things! You know what? You guys are making my head hurt. The only one I can listen to is myself. <laughs> so buzz off! Think, Deadpool, think! What's up? Oh, thank God you guys are here. I need your opinions. What's there to say? Take the kid, make the profit, everyone wins. Okay, but what about you, good Deadpool? Any thoughts? Nah, I agree with him. Bro for it, dude. Very good point. Oh, mister, you okay over there? You're doing an awful lot of talking to yourself. Yeah, and you are too, kid. You just don't know it. What? We have the same voice actor, so he's just talking to himself right now. I'm... I'm just so confused. Don't be. All you gotta do is stick by Papa Deadpool. He'll take care of you. Now, we have to get ready for the show! Show? This is it, Deadpool's yacht. We should find Kit here, right? That's right. Step right up and see the incredible Kit Stravaganza. Kit Stravaganza? The title is a work in progress, but welcome. You're here to see Kit too, right? The tickets are nearly sold out, but I think I can squeeze you in. Cats pay half price. Hmm. I think I see what's going on here. Look, Deadpool, you cannot just profit off another's popularity. It isn't right. You're exploiting Kit's good name to make a quick buck? Ugh, that's low. <laughs> Even for you. But Rox, you don't understand. I'll make a lot of money. Rox, Kyo, you're here. Kit! Kit, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be in wardrobe. Well, Deadpool, I've been thinking, I don't feel comfortable doing all this. Nonsense. Remember, this is the only way you'll be safe from all those rabid fans. I curated an environment free of risk. Rox, please turn round. With pleasure. Thank you. <gasps> Deadpool, you let Kit go right now! I swear I'll claw that your eyeballs! Please and thank you. Whoa, okay, that was terrifying. I wish I was wearing my brown pants right now. Ew. Okay, Kit Buddy, you you can leave. Just just know there's going to be a lot of disappointed ladies in there that were expecting a show. Then maybe you should give them one, Deadpool, because we're out of here. You tell him, kid. Let's go, Kit. Fine, go. See what I care. The show must go on. We want we kids. Want kids. Okay, here we go. The moment you've all been waiting for. My impression of Kit. <laughs> impression? I'm a kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm a cat. Have you met with me? Ow, the humanity. <sighs> home sweet home. Welcome back, Kit. Thanks for saving me, guys. I owe you one. This is a valuable lesson for you, Kit. 
You're far too trusting. I know you want to see the good in people, but you mustn't go off with strangers again, okay? I know. And I won't. Believe me, twice is enough. Good. With that, my work is done. I've got to get home to Journey. Say hello to your dad for me, won't you? Will do. Whenever he comes back. Rox, would you mind? Sergio. Kate, I was really scared for you today. I was too. But then I was really happy when I saw you show up. You must really care about me, huh? Uh-huh. You'd do the same for me, right? Of course I would, Kyo. <laughs> Sorry, this is just so flippin' adorable! Well, oh, I guess I just have to get used to being in the center of attention for a while. It comes with the territory. Of being so cute, I mean. Aww. According to Jules, Kit should be here. I can't wait to see my boy again. Kit, where are you at, bud? Okay, Kit. Now watch carefully. Ha! 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 Wow! Okay, 8-Ball. I think I got it. Ah. Give it a try. I'm doing it! Look at it go! That's my boy. Paul! Paul! You came back! Of course I did, buddy. I wouldn't leave Mew behind. It's good to see you again, Meowsos. Mew too, 8-Ball. Thanks for watching after my boy while I was away. Please, it was a pleasure. Kit here is a fine young man. You've raised him well. Talented too. Don't forget that. And humble. <laughs> That's not our strong suit. But we're both working on it, aren't we? Yeah, Paul. But I have a reason to be proud. Dad, I got a girlfriend. A g g, -g girlfriend Uh-huh. Her name's Kyo, and she's beautiful. Wait, Kyo? Rox's pet? Well, she doesn't really like the term pet. It's demeaning. She prefers companion or familiar. So now I gotta learn new words, huh? Dad! I'm just kidding around, son. I'm happy for you. You know I was about your age when I met my first girlfriend. And boy, was she a looker. She had these big, pointy ears, and... Okay, I think that's enough of this conversation. I agree, TMI. But Dad, I'm just so glad you're back. We've got to tell Jules so we can all get together and celebrate. Oh, right, son. About Jules. Yeah? What is it? Well, we need to have a talk. Huh? Wow. Ohm. Look at this place. It's perfect. The authority really went all out for me. They must trust me a lot to shell out this kind of dough. <sighs> it's nothing. I'm just... It's been a while since someone has done something like this for me. Makes me miss Demi. Yeah, maybe I will visit her soon. Huh? Hey, Jules! You in there? Tech. Yeah, I'm here. Come on in, Tech. Thank you kindly. Look at you. Ain't these some fancy digs? Not bad, huh? I'll say. Your room's twice as big as mine. Why, you might even be able to fit two people in here. Well, Om needs room to fly around, so we'll make use of the space. Right. Right, of course. So, isn't this exciting? You, me, working together, living right down the hall from each other? Yeah, I'm real excited, Tech. I can barely contain it. Me neither. This brings me to my next point. Jules, would you like to- Oh, would you look at that. That must be my mom. You know how parents worry. <laughs> uh, I should take this. I sure do, but I, uh, I thought you said your mom passed, you know? Did I say mom? I meant aunt. She's always calling me. Blah, blah, blah. You know aunts. Oh, don't get me started. Why, my Aunt Marge is a real chatty Kathy. She'll go on and on about the most inconsequential mm -hmm. stuff, and mm -hmm. she just can't take a hint. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like, I don't care about your fungal infection, Aunt Marge. Tech. Yeah? Do you mind? 
Oh, right. Sure thing, Jules. Don't want to be like Auntie Marge now. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. I'll see you around. God, I thought he'd never leave. Now I wonder who this is. Staying on the line that long must be important. Hello? Jules! Kit? How did you get this number? I had my new friend Cameo hack into the authorities' communications. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, no, Kit. Not pretty cool. Pretty dangerous, actually. Well, whatever. What's done is done. So, I just had a chat with my paw. And he says that I'm not supposed to talk to you anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. But why? This has to be a mistake! Kit, people are after me. And the people who aren't after me are after you. It's too dangerous for us to hang out. Well... Oh, oh Kit. Please don't cry. Can I... Can I at least see you one last time? Kit, I don't know. We'll meet halfway between the Authority and the Fortilla. No one will suspect a thing. I guess I owe you an explanation to all of this. Okay, Kit. I'll see you there. Now, lose this frequency, okay? Already forgot it! Ugh. What am I thinking, meeting him here? Sure, why not? Relax, Ohm. Ah, thanks. I get that all the time. I guess I just have one of those faces, you know? Jules! Huh? We won't be long. Besides, we won't set the bar, okay? Uh, okay. Come on, Kit. Sorry, I didn't realize that this place was the halfway point. I would have suggested somewhere more Kit-friendly. I don't care about that. I want to know why people are after you. Have you done something wrong? <sighs> no. Well, yeah, plenty, but... I think they're after me because of who I am. I don't know for sure. Well, that's silly! You're just jewels! What could they want with you? Okay, Kit. I'm going to show you something. But you have to promise to keep it a secret, okay? Come on, Jules. We're besties. You know I won't tell anyone. Kit. Okay, okay. I promise. Okay. Don't freak out. And keep your voice down. Jules, your hands! Kit! Sorry. Watch. That's... That's amazing! Jules, you're like a superhero! And now you know. Come on, let's get you home. And that's where we're at. Some more stuff happened, of course. <sighs> We're past it now. And have all grown from it. I don't think I need a refresher on that particular arc. Well, that was fun, guys. Always a nice time looking back on things, reflecting and whatnot. Yeah, it was especially nice seeing Kit and I's love from a different perspective. Yeah. Speaking of, look at the time. I should really get back and check in on... Sky? Sky? 